Welcome to an IBS Computer Technology video tutorial. My name is Julie and I'm the education consultant that's going to share this video with you today. Today's video is a little bit different because it's an introduction to a new video series that we're starting titled How Smart Ink Works. Smart Ink is automatically downloaded while you update Smart Notebook 11. It allows you to easily use digital ink over any application while you're connected to your smart interactive product such as SmartBoard or Smart Slate. Smart Ink is going to replace the digital ink layer and the Inkaware tools that we used with past versions of Smart Notebook. You'll still have the ability to annotate over any application that you open on your computer. However, you're also going to be able to manipulate that ink. In addition, when viewing PDF files, you can now use the Smart Ink Document Viewer, which is also included with Smart Ink. Listed below, I have a few changes to look for as you get acquainted with Smart Ink. I'm going to compare previous versions of Smart Notebook to Smart Notebook 11 and Smart Ink. In the past, if I left Smart Notebook software and I picked up a pen from my pen tray, I would immediately see the digital ink layer, which would create a white border around my desktop or around my screen. I could write over whatever application was open, but I couldn't interact with that application. Once I had annotated over that transparent digital layer, I could either clear the ink, take a screenshot of the ink, or close that digital ink layer. With Smart Ink, I'm immediately going to notice that I have a Smart Ink toolbar at the top right hand corner of any window I open outside of Smart Notebook. And this ink, Smart Ink toolbar is going to give me access to the Smart Ink tools. In the past, once I had written over that digital ink layer, if I clicked on that digital ink layer while in cursor mode, a menu would appear. And this would allow me to either save my ink, clear my ink, or just close that ink layer. But I couldn't interact or manipulate with my ink. With Smart Ink in Notebook 11, I can now manipulate that ink that I've written by either moving it, deleting it, or converting it to text. In the past, when using digital ink with Microsoft Office, we would utilize our Inkaware tools to either insert our ink as an image, as text, or again to capture the ink. With Smart Ink, when I use a Microsoft Office document, I have the option of using the native Microsoft Ink tools or turning on Smart Ink. And last but not least, while using PowerPoint presentations in the past, this is the floating toolbar that I would use that would allow me to navigate my PowerPoint presentation and access the command menu. And with Smart Ink, I now have a new menu, the Smart Ink toolbar for PowerPoint which allows me to still navigate that PowerPoint presentation and also access those Microsoft Ink tools and menu. These are a few items to expect as you start using Smart Ink. You're going to notice that toolbar appears every time you open an application other than Smart Notebook, and it will be located at the top right hand corner, though you can move it. You'll also notice that your writing and drawing experience is going to feel much more intuitive. This is because I can open up any application, pick up a pen from my smart board, or choose a pen from my smart slate, and immediately start writing. And with that, I'm also going to be able to interact with that application that I'm using because it's still live and active, even though I'm using digital ink. So you're no longer going to be stuck in that digital ink layer. Let's take a look at a few live examples. I'm going to go to the internet first. And while I'm on the internet, I can either use my Smart Ink toolbar to access my Smart Ink tools, or I can choose a tool from the Smart Board or my Smart Slate. I can immediately start writing, and I'm just going to circle all of our IVS offices. I can go to the toolbar to change my tool, or again, I can replace my pen back in that pen tray. And now I can click on my ink and actually move it around the page. I can delete the ink, and if I had written a word, I could convert that word to text and send it to one of the text boxes on the page. If I had a Microsoft document open, instead of Smart Ink, I can choose to use the Microsoft Ink pen tools, and I can still write over the document. And when I use my native tools, 
I can scroll and my ink will stay with my document. And then last but not least, if I go to a PDF, I can access a pen from my Smart Interactive product and write directly over the document. And once again, I'm able to scroll and my ink is now going to stay with my PDF. These are just a few things to look for as you start getting used to Smart Ink. Definitely stay tuned. We'll be posting these videos on our Facebook page soon, also included in how Smart Ink works. We'll share how to use Smart Ink with the internet, with Word and Excel, with PowerPoint slideshows, and then we will also share how to use the Smart Ink document viewer. Thank you.